I know, I know. Give Jamie a ring, will you? Tell him I've got to go and see a doctor about an insurance checkup. Oh, so that's why you were practicing your cough in the shower. Ha uh ha. -uh. Oh, listen, Anna, we've already cancelled the christening twice. Simone's worried for Fleur. She called around yesterday with a video of Rosemary's baby. Okay, <laughs> here's my short list for the Godfather mm -hmm. Jamie, Jamie, and Jamie. He's your man. Right. Godmother Debbie, Debbie, and Debbie. Oh, Alex, she'd be perfect. She's really happy with Peter the Potter now. She gets a glazed look in her no, eye. Well, 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 what, about, what about Simone? Fleur would never forgive us. Look, if we got hit by a bus, it's the godparents who look after Fleur. Simone's got three kids. They're OK. So why do they keep knotting their sheets together? <laughs> no, Alex, she is not getting my daughter. But she's not going to be raising Fleur. It's purely academic. Then it might just as well be Debbie, then, mightn't it? Ha <laughs> ha, got ya. Oh, you. You should have been a lawyer. <laughs> we'll fight this evening. You've been a great help, haven't you, eh? Good luck at the doctors. Thank you, darling. See, Debbie. Debbie. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> Dr. Curtis? Yes. Oh. Mr. Uh, Callender. Alec Callender. <laughs> well, at least my memory's OK. <laughs> Just my wee joke, Doctor. Yes. Sit down, please. <clears throat> How old are you, Mr. Callender? Uh, 58. Hard to believe, eh? <laughs> And have you had any health problems at all? Oh, no, 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 no. Right, could you take off your jacket and roll up your left sleeve, please? I warn you, I've never lost an arm wrestle yet. <laughs> <laughs> Just one little joke, Doctor. I see. Tell me about your lifestyle, Mr. Callender. Ah, oh, well, I, uh, I keep pretty fit, you know. <laughs> I swim, jog from time to time. <laughs> Marathons. I've eaten them occasionally. What about your diet? Are you sensible? Oh, yes, yes, yes. Uh, yeah. Plenty of fibre. Fish, veg. Have the body of a 25-year-old. <laughs> Should have bought it with me. <laughs> Everything OK? Or do my wheels need balancing? Right. Would you go behind the screen and get undressed, please? Oh, is, is, is that essential? You haven't got anything I haven't seen before, Mr. Callender. Well, I don't want to bore you, Doctor. Screen, Mr. Callender. Where shall I put my clothes? Just leave them on the table. Right. Next to mine. <laughs> Just my wee joke, Mr. Callender. <laughs> Good morning, Hilary. Hilary? Oh, no, thanks, Miss Pat. I couldn't right now. <laughs> what are you looking for? I thought we had a calendar. We have two. <laughs> I ain't got time for pheasant trees. <laughs> it's probably slipped down behind the filing cabinet. Anyway, today's the 22nd. That's hardly the issue, Miss Flood. <laughs> uh, good morning, Miss Flood. The garbage men are outside. I gave them some refuse. They couldn't refuse. <laughs> Jamie, you should have waited till the anaesthetic wore off. No, no, it's not the dentist. I'm Don Vito Corleone. <laughs> yeah, Zoe just rang me. I'm going to be Godfather. <laughs> Got it. Uh, 1993. That's right, isn't it? <laughs> Jamie, being a Godfather is a very responsible role. Perhaps you'll grow into it. 
have they chosen a godmother yet? Uh, no, but it's in the final round. Uh, look, Dad's at an insurance checkup, so Zoe said he won't be in till later on it. Fine. No, excuse me, Miss Flood. I'm gonna take out a contract. <laughs> Hillary, typing? No, counting. <laughs> Hillary. Oh, Miss Flood. What? I'm heavy with child. <laughs> And the Wicked Witch of the East Hi. flew in through the back door on her broomstick. <laughs> so, Madam Fleur and I were just talking about you. No, it must be fate. No, we always talk about you. <laughs> I've just come to discuss your christening. Simone, you know I've never been terribly religious. Oh, Zoe, you mustn't worry about that. I've been praying for you for years. <laughs> no, but I do wish you'd have the christening tea at the vicarage. I am perfectly capable of making a few sandwiches for family and friends. Oh, I'd rather thought to canapé alongside my speciality crudité. Something your family wouldn't have had before. Well, so long as it's finger foods. We don't want them hurting themselves on those fork things. <laughs> anyway, the most important thing is, who have you chosen as godparents? Well, me, obviously, but for godfather. Jamie, but... Oh, I was thinking more of Bill. Bill? He's the vicar. He can't step forward with the godparents and then nip back around the font. It'd be like, come dancing. <laughs> and anyway, I was thinking of Debbie for godmother. What? Debbie for godmother. Simone? Zoe, are you complete? Saved by the bell. Hello? Yes. His goat? OK, I'll tell him. Cheerio. Zoe, what if you were both run over by a bus and... Zoe, what is it? That was our GP's receptionist. Alec left his coat there this morning. Oh, don't worry. I'll pick it up on my way over No, 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 no. He wasn't going to see Dr Brodie. He was going for an insurance check-up. Why would he have to go and see his GP? Well, you know Daddy has probably had the appointment for weeks. Simone, would you keep an eye on Fleur? Oh, yes. You, you, oh, just leave her with me. Yes, just leave her with, yes, with me. Go, 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 go. Isn't that what godmothers are for? Yes, it is. It is. <laughs> Hilary, are you sure it's not just a jippy tummy? Oh, no, Miss Flood. A woman knows. <laughs> One with the new life inside me, too hard. Yes, Hilary, I know how the process works. But shouldn't you take a test? It ain't like driving, Miss Flood. <laughs> My dear, he's got a job interview this morning. What will he say? Oh, well, he'll give his name, answer a few questions. No. <laughs> the baby! Good morning. Good morning, Mr. Oh, Callie. Morning, Mr. Callie. Mr. Callie I'm sorry, I'm a wee bit late. Oh, you and me both. <laughs> Oh, thank you, Vera. Oh, no, um, uh, do you have any orange juice or something? Yes, I'm sure we have. Ah. You're very brave. Cold drinks, no coat in this weather. Oh, I, I must have left it behind. Uh, sorry. It's getting I'm... worse. Well, Hilary, <laughs> your Derek will have to marry you now, won't he? I mean, an engagement is hardly sufficient. Oh, yeah. Oh, I can't wait to see his little face, Miss Clark. <laughs> yes, well, I'd lock the door first, if I were. It's OK for you, isn't it? Hanging about on a wall all day is hardly hazardous to your health. No wonder you're still at 35. Alec? Oh, so. <laughs> what are you doing here? You left your coat at Dr Brodie's office. Ah. What were you doing there? Oh, well, it's no big deal, so. <laughs> I saw this gorgeous lady doctor. <laughs> My blood pressure went up. <laughs> so she sent me to Dr Brodie to get it down. <laughs> My blood pressure. <laughs> Is that what you've got? Blood pressure? Oh, everybody's got blood pressure, so. <laughs> oh, don't be flip, Alec. Just tell me. Well, my, my blood pressure's a bit high, that's all. And? And the doctors prescribed me a few pills. What sort of pills? Hormone replacement therapy pills. <laughs> what does it matter what sort of pills? Don't get snappy with me, Look, Alec. there's no need to panic, though. I've just got to lower my drinking a bit. I use a trough. <laughs> you know, cut out salt, caffeine, lose a few ounces. How many ounces? 586. <laughs> 
You don't visit me for months, then you come wanting my help. Oh, no wonder Marlon Brando do not make films anymore. Why don't you grow up a bit there? What's the matter? Nothing's the matter. Oh, good. Is that why you both look so miserable? He's got high blood pressure. If you must know. Of course I must know. Shouldn't, shouldn't you be in bed or something? No, I shouldn't. <laughs> Alec, you're feeling faint. Look, I am sitting down. It's what I bought this chair for. <laughs> when I stand up, it doesn't mean I've got piles. <laughs> Look, why don't you do what you're paid for, huh? You're a godfather now. Be responsible. Oh, and I don't want them in there knowing about this. So. OK, are you sure? Of course I'm sure. Okay. Oh, um, who's going to be godmother? Simone. <laughs> well, I know who I'd choose if I didn't want to find a horse's head in my bed. <laughs> Here we are, Mr. Calendar. Oh. Is it all right if I go off and find my Derek? I've got something to tell him. You're pregnant. <laughs> Jamie! You knew, didn't you? Oh, it's because I've got that maternal glow! <laughs> Miss Blood and Virginie! <laughs> well, what's Derek going to say? Nothing. He'll be on the next flight to Buenos Aires. <laughs> oh, my God. Where are my pills? Alan. I'm joking, Zoe. What was he doing while you was making that? <laughs> he was helping me feel the clay with me entire being. <laughs> Just like Patrick Swayze and Demi Moore in Ghost. <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> oh, God, it's the Moonies again. <clears throat> Someone's in a bad mood. Mum, Alex's blood pressure's gone really high. She's not in hospital, is he? No, no, they've given him some pills, but they don't always work, do they? You've got to stay calm, so. Lots of blokes Alex age, have you? You mustn't panic. It's stress, isn't it? I'll say. What we run in is practice and poor little Fleur to look after. All right, all right. Get the girl a cup of tea. Worried enough already. Jamie's worried too, Mum. He'll make a smashing good father. Yeah. And I'll make a smashing good mother, won't I? Yeah, Debs, of course you will. I'm bringing Peter with me now. Not Roy. Well, if it was Roy, they'd have to re-consecrate the church. Am I interrupting? Oh, talk of the devil. Some people don't know how to take Slingy Hook for an answer. Oh, hey. Hi, Zoe. How's Daddy Alec? OK, is he? He's fine, Roy. Oh, good, good. And Baby Flea? It's Fleur. <laughs> Unless the vicar chokes on Sunday. When I'm godmother. Ah, that's nice. Um, I just wanted to speak to you, Debbie. You know private like you never at home Roy you can say what you've got to say with my family here um, look Debs I'd rather oh, be not forget the tea Debs I'd better get back before Simone teaches Fleur how to speak in tongues <laughs> don't you worry so it's par for the course thanks mum I'll ring you see you Debs Roy. bye Zoe wet Alex head for me on Sunday well, come on, spit it out before you give us both the pip. Oh, look, Roy, I've moved onwards and upwards. Going out with a pottery teacher now. You don't know him. No, I don't. But... But I know his wife. His what? I'm not lying, Debs. I know he deserves somebody better than me, but I don't think you found him yet. Just go, Roy. Yeah, OK. I'm sorry, Debbie. Oh, do you think I could have one of you? <laughs> what am I going to do, Mum? I think you just found a use for this pot. <laughs> there, she's fast asleep. Why don't we have a break tonight, Alec? Watch a bit of telly, eh? Aye. That yeah, was a great supper. Lean. Healthy? <laughs> I'd sell my granny for a scotch. <laughs> hey, listen. There's no chance of having a sniff of that whiskey marmalade you got at Christmas, is there? You know what Dr. Brodie said? Aye, aye. You're right. And no more work. Uh, oh, OK. Hey. Do you fancy an early night? Yeah, I'm knackered. Mm. Must be all the worry about the christening. You're not too tired for an early night, are you? Sorry? The night is young and I'm so beautiful. 
Well, the night is young anyway. <laughs> yeah. I don't know where you get your energy from, Alec. Fleur must be sapping mine. I'll tell you what, why don't I make us both a nice cup of tea? Aye. And no sugar for me. Two spoonfuls of bromide will do. <laughs> Where's Hillary? Buying a set of handcuffs for Derek. <laughs> Have you bought a present for little Fleur yet? No, I can't think what to get her. Something with a bit of meaning. Do you know how much meaning costs these days? <laughs> Couldn't I just buy her a half a Guinness after the ceremony? No, you couldn't. <laughs> what on earth are you wearing? Oh, do you like it? <laughs> it's my cousin Stacey's maternity frock. I'm wearing it in so I'll be used to it when I need it. <laughs> Logical. <laughs> so, uh, what did Derek say? Or hasn't he come out of his coma yet? <laughs> Don't worry, Hilary. Being an unmarried mother is practically compulsory these days. Actually, my Derek said he would do his duty and make me an honest woman. He's even coming to the christening Sunday so we can see the church for ourselves. There. Goodness. Yeah, that set the cat amongst the penguins, didn't it? <laughs> And he's got that new job he went for. Oh, Hilary, I am pleased. What's he going to be doing this time? Oh. Morning. 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 You okay? Fine. I've just been for a brisk walk round Pinner. <laughs> I feel ten years older. <laughs> <laughs> Hilary, how pregnant are you? Oh, completely, Mr. <laughs> Kelly. Well, you'll be able to take notes at the christening on Sunday. Oh, Dan. <coughs> Dan. So who's going to be godmother? Your sister. <laughs> you know, it's funny. Zoe gave him without a fight this morning. It's not like her. Samo must have given her a Chinese burn. <laughs> Aye. More than likely. Some of us have got work to do, you know. OK. Oh, Zoe, I don't know what to say. Thank you. I'm honoured. Oh, I know you've made the right choice for little Fleur. I'm sure your sister, Deborah, understands. Well, I haven't told her yet. I only did it because... Because what? Because you're the best person for the job. Ask anyone. Well, Alec, you. <laughs> How is Daddy? He'll be fine. I'm making sure he avoids any stress. You could help. Well, you know I'll always pop over any time you need me. I said you could help, Sam. <laughs> Zoe, this all seems to have come as a bit of a shock to you. Well, of course it has. When you married a man twice your age, a grandfather, did you not I'm think... not stupid, Simone. But you must have discussed it, surely. It's hardly pillow talk. Well, thanks to pillow talk, he now has a baby to take care of. Yeah, well, he should have kept talking, shouldn't he? <laughs> it's all been too much for him, and there's a practice to run. I'm not a lawyer. I can't do his work for him. No, of course you can't. But Jamie and the girls can. And I can help, too. I'm not a fool, Zoe. I know why you asked me to be godmother. But if it upsets you, it'll upset Daddy sooner or later. And if you're both unhappy, then... Simone... No, 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 no. I'll be quite content just making the most magnificent christening tea Pinner has ever tasted with my famous canapé. Simone, no I'll... buts. This is for Daddy. And remember what I said about the office. You and Derek planning on a church wedding then, eh, Hilary? Oh, yeah, you watch his little face on Sunday. He's a practising atheist, you know. <laughs> Here, Miss Flood. How would you like to be godmother when my time comes? Oh, Hilary. Hilary. Oh. oh. Simple calendar and calendar. Oh, I'm afraid he's with a client at the moment. Could I put you through to Mr. Jamie Calendar? Was that for Jamie, was it? Yes. Oh. <laughs> it's like the Marie Celeste in there. Oh, it's the lull before the storm, Mr. Calendar. Good, good. Great stuff. Are you all right, Hilary? Oh, gestating nicely, Mr. Oh. Calendar. <laughs> Would you like a nice cup of coffee? We haven't got any. Orange. No, thank you. Hilary, try to remember 
No stimulants and no excitement. It's a bit late for that advice now, Miss Flood. <laughs> I was talking about Mr. Callender. Y E L. Do you know I've had one call from a client all day, Perry? L O W. I'm glad I've got you to talk to. Otherwise, I'd end up talking to myself. So, being a godmother's the only good thing that's ever happened to me. You deserve it, love. Here, I hope Simone's not going to send Alex's blood pressure up when she finds out. Oh, Simone's all right. Mum, she stepped down. She didn't want to cause what? She didn't want to cause what? No, nothing, Mum, nothing. So, Simone was first choice? No, not mine, Debs. Oh, great. Not only am I a potter second, I'm a hand-me-down godmother. <laughs> second hand Debs. Well, this time I'm not going to be someone's afterthought. Oh, Debs. No, I'm sorry, Zoe. Godmother? No way. Mr. Calendar, shouldn't you be going? It's gone six. Aye, thank you, Vera. Good night. Good night. Good night. Well, I hate to cut and run, Perry. I don't want to miss my Horlicks. <laughs> Hilary! Oh! Oh, Mr. Callender. Sorry, I forgot my cousin's Miriam stock book. <laughs> You're going to be needing your own copy of that soon. Oh, I don't think so, Mr. Callender. Oh, there's confidence for you. Zoe swears by it, you know. Mr. Callender. Where's my ruddy Miriam stock part, she says. Mr. Huh? Callender. I'm afraid it was a false alarm. Oh, Hilary. I've made a right fool of myself, haven't I? No, no, you haven't. Did you tell your Derek? No, I'll tell him tonight. Oh. I'll never get him up the aisle now, Mr. Callender. Of course you will. He's promised to marry you. Yeah, well, my dad was twisting his arm behind his back at the time. <laughs> and your mum kept going on about getting two bricks. <laughs> He won't come to the church Sunday, will he? Oh, of course he will. Just you wait. Once he's there, he'll be hooked. Miss Flapp was so looking forward to Godmother in. Mm. I wish there was something I could do for you. <laughs> oh, now, come on, Hilary. Don't cry. Oh, sorry, <laughs> Mr. Kevin. I really wanted a machine gun. Where did I you and Sammy? <laughs> Now, look, you're a young lass. You've got your whole life ahead of you. Oh, you're so sweet, Mr. Gallinder. <laughs> and you're in your delicate condition. Do you know, I've been so wrapped up in myself, I even put a client through to you this morning. What? <laughs> yes, yeah, Zoe's been so worried. She told us all about your pressurised blood. <laughs> but pretty soon, you won't even have to come in here at all. You can spend all day at home, just you and your little babe. Baby. Sorry, Mr. Candor. Good night. Good night, Hilary. Pressurised blood. <laughs> Dad is home. Where have you been? You're late. Oh, I've been talking to Hilary. She's not. Why are you looking at me like that? I'm not. Did you have a good day? Oh, thrilling. Thought I might join the Trappists. But I'm not sure I could stand the excitement. Give us a kiss. Mmm. <laughs> you smell of baby powder. <laughs> You're an animal. I'll get you your juice. Something I want to tell you. There's something I want to tell you. I'm going to die. Why the surprise? Alec? That's all you've been thinking about, isn't it? But I'm not going to die today or tomorrow. I'm thinking about it about, oh, when I'm in my late 80s. That is if I don't die of boredom first. You bloody frightened me. And you're bloody frightening me. Do you think I haven't thought of that from the day we first met? I don't want to talk about this. Every time I kissed you goodnight. Do you think I don't know that we're not going to grow old together? I just pushed it to the back of my mind and... No, so until yesterday, when all the bets were off. I'm sorry. Zoe, I can't bear the way you look at me. The way you're so scared that you might overexcite me. How you conspire with my office staff. I haven't been excited by work for 25 years. I'm not going to start now. 
Well, I didn't know what else to do. Do nothing! I don't want my whole life decaffeinated. I thought I was going to lose you. <sighs> Look, no one's going to lose anyone. Unless both of us are hit by that bus tomorrow. <laughs> and Simone will be in like a shot. <laughs> no, she won't. What do you mean? That's what I wanted to tell you. Neither of them want to be godmother. There's no persuading them. Oh, my godfathers. What about Fleur? Well, that settles it, doesn't it? I'm going to have to hang around for a bit now, aren't I? Hmm? Oh, Alec, what are we going to do? <laughs> you leave it to your old man. <laughs> oh. Excuse me, excuse me, I'm oh. the photographer coming through. Well, Miss Fleur, Perrietta, Mason, Calendar, you did us proud. Don't worry, you can change it later, darling. <laughs> Let's have a photograph of the parents and the godparents. Oh, uh, Jimmy, Jimmy. I'm here. I'm with you, Alec. Oh, come on. <laughs> Simone. Yes. <laughs> and Debbie. Debs, Debs, over there, over there. Jamie. Mira. Take that stuff out of your mouth. <laughs> Hillary! How <laughs> did you get Simone and Debbie to agree? Well, I said that if they didn't do it, I'd make Hillary godmother on her own. <laughs> <laughs> Dear Miss Flood. Well, if he said he was working, then he's working. Probably. <laughs> Everybody say leeks. Oh, I thought it was cheese. You don't sell cheese. <laughs> leeks! <laughs> one more, one more. So where's this terrific present for Fleur, eh? Um, I was wondering. Well, how would you like a new sister-in-law? You're getting married! Oh! oh. Oh, that's fantastic. <laughs> yeah. You must be mad. I drew the line of being gift wrapped. <laughs> <laughs> Will you stand still, for God's sake? Please! <laughs> Thank you. Right, everyone back to the vicarage. It's all very informal. Leave your shoes in the porch. I don't know whether to laugh or cry. Get yourself a husband and you do both. Well, everybody <laughs> seems very happy. Well, they haven't tasted Simone's canopies yet. <laughs> Alan, uh -huh. you were right about this. Listen, as my granny used to say, there's canopy around the corner, so why bother to look? Alec! <laughs> oh, my God! No, my Terry! <laughs> Alec, you nearly gave me a heart attack. Oh, I'm so sorry, Terry. I could do with a scotch, uh, for medicinal purposes only. Well, I could do with a double. Oh, Derek, I knew you'd come. I wouldn't leave you at the church, babe. Are you all right, Mr. Callender? Oh, I'm fine, Vera. Fine. <laughs> I want to ask you something. Anything, Derek. Do you know the way back to Hatch End? <laughs> Are you sure you're all right, Alec? Oh, I, I'm fine. I'm fine. Alec? Well, I could do with a wee lighter and... What? He's insatiable! <laughs> <laughs>